Steve Tober, Coach Mike Valenzano of Cedar Grove, and Coach uh, Cedar Grove, a lot of expectations, certainly one of the teams to watch in Group 1. You know, you're doing a pretty good job in the first half of the season, and the season just kind of taking shape for what could be a very talented ball club. Absolutely. You know, we got out of the gate. Uh, we're 6-2 and two right now, and, um, you know, that's eight games, and I think we have eight rainouts, which is, uh, you know, something in my young career I'm obviously not used to. But... Um, He's got to keep it loose when we're working in the gym in the rain and, and keep the boys, you know, competing and ready to just have fun and get out there. Um, you know, we, we get excited when you get to wake up and, and you're sure that there's going to be a game on a, on a sunny Saturday here, 85 degrees. Um, you know, when there's 50-50 chance of showers, you know, it, it just plays just plays a game of your head a lot of the times. But uh, we just like we just like getting out and being able to play. And I know you're excited about being the head coach at Cedar Grove for the first year. What history? Jack Lynch, Jim Garrett, Chris Giacchetto, some great guys have coached this baseball program and uh, you're taking over a very prestigious pr prestigious tradition oh it's uh it, it's without a doubt one of the one of the most you know historical small schools in essex county and um you know i come in extremely humbled and and just i, I value the opportunity to be here um you know, I was Chris's assistant, as you know, for about five years, and uh, still very close with Jim Garrick, and, and I, I see Jack Lynch in passing, but just the utmost respect for those guys and, you know, and the job they've done just to build this program uh, and to sort of hand it to me on a silver platter, and I think that's what's happened. <laughs> and, Coach, a very good uh, – you have a few excellent seniors, Drew Evangelista among them, Mike Valley, but the junior class is really a prized one, isn't it? Uh, yeah, my whole infield uh, – whole infield is, is made up of juniors as well as the battery. Uh, we got a lefty on the mound, Russ Pagano, as well as catcher Brian Del Gershio. So we, we definitely have a ton of expectations for him, and we definitely go one, one game at a time. The, the goals are very lofty, but, uh, you know, we want to see if we could do it this year. You know, not, not save it until we're in their seniors because then, uh, obviously, you know, Drew and Mike lose their chance. So they're definitely strong, and we're going to see if we can uh, – if we can pull uh, pull off some some fun games and some big wins, and a, and a pretty good shortstop, a, a young infielder from has some Montclair roots, a Patsy Caggiano. I see some of his family coming through here today for a GNT game, and uh, uh, here's a young man with a ultimate talent as well. Pat, Patsy's another humble, humble young man, and and uh, you know switch hitting shortstop for us. Been starting there since freshman year. Uh, was able to hit 5'11 last year as a sophomore. So you know p people see his name on the lineup, and he bats second for us, and you know they know that that he could hit the ball to all fields and 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 flesh the leather a little bit short stuff, but it couldn't, couldn't have a nicer kid, which is more important. Well, Coach Valenzano, good luck today, the rest of the season with Cedar Grove. Certainly a team to watch in Group 1 as we move on in tournament season. Thanks a lot for stopping Steve, by. Steve, I appreciate it. Coach Mike Valenzano, Steve Tober, reporting.